What's up everyone, it's Ryan from RyanBond.com and in today's video we're going to be talking about tracking pixels and why you need one as an online marketer. So if you're online and you're creating your own custom funnels and your own custom websites, you may want to stick around for this, so stay tuned. Before I go ahead and get started, I want you guys to go ahead and log into your YouTube account if you haven't logged in yet, because on the bottom right of this video, I want you guys to go over there and head over there and look for that bell, that notification bell, so you guys can get notified whenever I go live or whenever I shoot a new video and I upload a new video, because uh, on these videos, I'm going to be showing you guys, you know, part tutorials and uh, reviews, and also um, how to make money from home, you know, and how you can easily promote um, certain products on the internet as an online marketer. And while you're over there in that section anyway, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to actually show you how you can, uh, a simple and easy way that you can create a tracking pixel on ClickMagic. So if you stumbled across this video and you're wondering, you know, who is this for? You know, what, why do I need a tracking pixel? Well, these are for your online marketers, your affiliate marketers, you know, your email marketers, and anyone who's running traffic to offers onto a website. And like I said in my previous video, you know, people who are running solo ads, Facebook ads, you know, pay per clicks, um, cost per clicks, etc., or even on many chat, you want to be able, you want to be able to uh, track your links because you know. You need to, as a, having a business online, you just really need to start tracking everything, right? And by now, you, like I said, you're probably wondering, you know, why do I need to track my links? Well, because you want to be able to know, you know, how many people are actually going to your offers, or how many see, how many people are seeing your offers, or how many people are looking at your website. You know, because if you're not creating, and and also especially if you're creating your own uh, custom funnels, for instance, you know, if you're creating your own capture page, a bridge page, you know, a thank you page, a sales letter, a video sales letter, you know, you want to be able to track, you know, how far deep into your funnel that your customers are going into. So if they're stopping at the bridge page and they're not looking into your sales letter or your sales page, you know, you know, that's something that you may want to think about and maybe you need to change a bridge page, right? So you start thinking about it instead, because if you don't have that tracking pixel, Right, you're not gonna know where they're stopping you. So they, you may think, you may assume that they're stopping. You know, they're looking at the whole thing and they're looking at your offer, but they're stopping there. But in reality, they may not. They, they may not have gotten far or further than the capture page or the bridge page. Right. So by having a tracking pixel and knowing where people are stopping, uh, stopping at, and you know, especially if it's something that's very, very new when you're testing, you know, and especially when you're split testing, you want to be able to know how far into your funnel. You know that people are actually, you know, uh, uh, stopping into or how far deep into the phone they're going, right? You know, so for instance, if you're, you know, I'll give you another example. If your bridge page, uh, you know, you have you, you create a bridge page and you have your intro, right? Um, your intro to yourself, and then you have a call to action to go hit the link below or hit the button below. You know, to that goes to your sales letter. Like I said again, if they're not going to your sales letter and they're not clicking that button, you'll be able to know, you know, how many clicks. And how many people are actually going to that actual bridge, uh, to that sales letter, or that, uh, or that thank you page, right? And just in just a few minutes, I'm gonna actually show you guys how to create a tracking pixel using Click Magic. All right, so just give me a second, and I'm just gonna share my screen really quick. All right, so on um, the last video of uh, creating a tracking uh, link, you know, we already created this tracking link, and if you didn't create the tracking link, or if you missed that video, um, you, I'm gonna put that description in the uh, in the bottom. I'll put the link in the description box below, so you guys can go ahead and watch that video on how to create a tracking link with Click Magic. All right, so here, as you can see, this is a different link that we created from the last video. Um, I actually did a split test with a solo ad vendor where I purchased. Um, 300 clicks and they actually over delivered because you know that's just what they do for you whenever you purchase solo ads if, and also if you build a good relationship with your vendor you know that's something you know they'll do for you all right so here the a actually stands for action which means that they went from my capture page to my bridge page or my capture page to my sales letter or thank you page all right so this is actually the reason why I wanted to show you this is because I actually do make did make a mistake where when I was first learning how to uh, use uh, tracking pixels, right? So the amount of clicks that I got that are unique were 324, and I also got 324, um, 324 uh, clicks towards the uh, what is the actual that went to the bridge page or to the to the uh, to the sales letter. So that actually is the reason why I got a hundred percent conversion here. So it, this one is the actions of conversion rate. So that's where I actually messed up. So I learned from this, and so the next time around that I actually ran. A solo ad with uh, to my custom uh, funnel, you know, I got uh, a more realistic realistic result instead of a hundred because you know 
hundred percent, three hundred twenty-four people clicking out of three hundred twenty-four, right? So I learned from this. Like I said, hey, everybody makes mistakes. That's just how you learn, right? So that's all, and you always got to be testing. So um, enough about that ramble. Uh, so in order for you to guys to track, uh, create a tracking pixel, and what I'm also going to show you guys today too is how to um, where to, where do you put your tracking pixel? All right. So um, to, in order to create a tracking pixel, okay, we're going to go here to the top where you see tools. Right, and you're gonna hit tracking pixel. You're gonna go to Pixel Builder on Click Magic, and it's gonna take you here. And it's real simple to create this tracking pixel. You know, it's really not that difficult. You know, if you just uh, read the questions, and if you have any questions, what do you want to uh, what do you want to track? You know, you have the question marks here, and if you just click on it, it'll take you to another page and pop up and explain to you what each section and what it is here that you want to be tracking or what's part of that. Um, uh, what each thing, each uh, each section means. All right, so that's what I love about Click Magic. There, they have video tutorials and video videos and exp on explaining everything for you. Right, so so for instance, if like for instance, if you're running a solo ad, you want to be able to track the actions. You know, is it the last click or you want to pick the first click? Right, so I usually use the last click. Um, do you want to track duplicate conversions? Recommend no. I usually don't do that either. And are you adding a pixel source to an H HTTPS, which is the you know a secure site? You can either hit yes or no. It's up to you if your sites are um, are secured or not. But you can either hit yes or no. You know, are you adding this pixel to a tracking link? If so, then you got to read this, and it'll tell you it'll specifically explain what you need to do, and why, um, and why you um. And, and what to do next as far as you know adding a pixel to a tracking link right so if you are you'll know, hit yes okay and then it is bring it down here so um, do you want to add an optional ref value enter here um, if you do if you don't I normally don't and I usually leave usually leave everything as is right so are you gonna be tracking um, the action through an HTML or a JavaScript right whichever one you want to use depending if you're using click funnels um, or something else besides that I use click funnels I also use funnelizer um, from my leases and pro all right so once you've done you know creating and figuring out what your what you want what you want to uh, use or what you want to uh, track for the tracking pixel um, it's already generated right here and that's how simple it is now all you got to do is take this pixel copy it right and head over to where you created your capture page or your custom funnel all right and here this is one of my custom funnels that I used on um, Funnelizer. And um, what you want to do is you want to go to the to the head tagging, your tracking code, or you want to put in the in the header or the footer, whichever one you want to use. Um, depending, sometimes if it doesn't fire, I'll try both. But don't put it in both. Just put it in one of them. All right. So you want to you want to be able to put that in the header and just you know I already have one that's already made for this specific um, capture page. And um, you can see here it's, it's Click Magic Pixel, and this is that specific code that goes uh, to that header or to this uh, capture page. Now, like I said, if you try to run it and it doesn't um, and it doesn't fire up, you'll be able to know that in in your Click Magic uh, in that link or in that. Um, there we go. You'll be able to know here in the actions, right? So if it's not firing, you know you may want to try putting it in the header. Uh, I mean the footer instead and seeing if that goes if that fires up in, uh, on on your link all right so that's it for me today guys that is how you track uh, you create a tracking pixel on click magic all right so if you guys uh, got value from that hey let me know if you got in the comment section I would love to interact with you guys I would love to know um, how you guys uh, feel about the videos that I'm making and also if you found it you know very if you found it educational if you want me to you know because I'm gonna be creating more videos like this and let me know I, like I said I want to know what your opinions and I want to be able to interact you know with you guys a lot more over here on YouTube all right and also if you want to know my number one recommended source to making money from home you know go ahead in the description box and look for the best online system dot all right that's best online system dot I'll talk to you guys there and I'll see you guys on the next clip peace <laughs>